Hello. Hello. So Transformers is full of uh, spaceships and lasers and all kinds of science fiction type stuff. Did you have any knowledge or interest in that kind of material before becoming involved in Transformers? And uh, how does your experience as an actor help you to work with some of these outer worldly concepts that normal humans might have a hard time with? Wow. Well, okay, um, back in 1969, when man uh, landed on the moon, I was in Montreal, and I was watching it on television. And uh, I was amazed. I was really amazed. I, I couldn't believe my eyes. Man going to the moon, oh my. I developed such a love for NASA and anything related to space back in those days. And it continued on, and by the, uh, the good fortune of Optimus Prime, Transformers, that led me to NASA itself, and uh, Goddard Space Flight Center, where I just returned from. I was in Washington for that, for the Optimus Prime spin-off awards. And uh, well, it's, it's very exciting, you ought to look into it. I, I do a lot of work with Goddard, but I tell you, and for, with NASA, and uh, to, see, to see these young kids, you know, from five to seven years old coming up with videos that uh, show the innovations that have come out of the NASA program for man, but originally conceived for the protection and safety of mankind going into outer space. Thousands of inventions that we take for granted every day. So to be a part of that spin-off award uh, got me close to astronauts and to rocket launches down in Florida, and uh, I'm a spoiled little brat. 